I recently finished reading The Immigrant by Manchu Kapoor. I was really excited to read this book because it's by Manchu Kapoor, who is my favorite author. It was her book, Home, which first got me into reading novels because before then I thought reading novels was boring but it was she changed my perception and I loved all three of her other books Married Woman, Home and Difficult Daughters so reading The Immigrant I was so excited however this book did disappoint me it's an easy read I read it within a week and I'm not a particularly fast reader so it's not that hard the themes I think I couldn't connect to maybe that's why I didn't enjoy it because I couldn't understand the themes have to deal with immigrating new to a new place, settling in a new place. How difficult can it be? You know, the culture clash between, you know, um, the Asian culture and the Western culture. You know, it's very, very different, the setting. But then it's also to do with, a lot to do with marriage and the dynamics of marriage. And um, particularly the role of sex within marriage. And, you know, how what is expected and the roles in marriage it's a lot to do with that and then uh, as with all her books she touches on the roles of women and you know a bit of feminism they are, there were only two main characters usually in a novel you have three main characters I mean there were other characters but none of whom which I would call main but that's my opinion and the two main characters are the husband and wife, but that's my purely my opinion. The characters are realistic and credible. The story is also realistic, but it just feels like, you know, you're watching an Indian soap drama, if you understand what I mean. It's just very much this happened, this happened, this happened. It's not this happened and then there's emotion created like her other books. My favorite part was when I actually felt emotionally connected to that book, and this was when... Um, the mother died. I felt it was quite emotional. Yet still, I feel um, Manju Kapoor could have prolonged it a little bit and, you know, explained a bit more, you know, how, you know, the character felt, the emotions took over, not just described that she cried and all this. You know, it could have been a little bit more and, you know, the ashes and stuff. I wanted, I was looking for a bit more. Also, another character's parents die. I feel that was rushed. I felt if she put a little bit more time into giving the characters background beforehand, even the deaths would have been more, you know, emo you know, the emotive it would have been. The end was also pretty rapid, so I was looking for more, but then I usually am at the end of the book, so I don't know if I could say that. Um, I didn't this book I didn't enjoy it not just because that maybe I couldn't connect to her. I didn't connect to any character, so I didn't have a favorite character. Maybe that's why I, I'm not quite sure, but for all the other Manchu Kapoor fans out there, I think this book is different to her other three books. I think she did a better job because their plots are more complicated, intricate. This is a very simple plot, and simple plots can work, but I think um, they require a bit more detail maybe, and you know, it's just very much... She's sending letters, she's excited, okay, she says yes to get married, then she goes there, she finds this, this happens, and this happens, and it's just like, it's a bit relentless, actually, at the end of the day, because you just want to finish it and let it go at the end. I would recommend this book if you um, do enjoy uh, the mix of Asian and uh, Western writing kind of novels, because, you know, she brings together both the cultures in all her books. Uh, I would recommend it then because it does bring together and it does touch on that. But I think the person, the typical person who this book would appeal to is more older audience and I think it would be women. I don't think this book would appeal to men. And I think the woman who reads this book, she would have been in a couple of relationships or whatever and could connect to this. And I think probably the woman who's reading this would be a married woman because it's got so much about marriage and I just don't think anybody who's never been married before can connect to it and I think it's a very mature book even for me and I'm 17 and I've de dealt with a lot of books which are mature but this book is very mature anyway I hope this is my short, short book review and I hope it helps you in deciding whether to read The Immigrant or not